Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we will be learning about SD wallets, hierarchically deterministic wallet. So let's get into it. So in the previous video, we learned about the Bitcoin address and why it is needed. What we are about to discuss today is privacy. We know blockchain, Bitcoin in general or cryptocurrency, they are meant to be anonymous, not exactly anonymous, pseudo-anonymous or pseudonymous. As long as who is attached to that private key is unknown, they don't know who you are. So it is not completely anonymous. If one day someone finds out that it's your private key, then they will know exactly everything about how you have been spending and transacting all the time and everything. Let's see an example. Every time when you want to receive money, you send your Bitcoin address to the sender. And every time when you send money to someone, your public key will be attached to it. So the same Bitcoin address and public key will be used for all the transaction. Someone can note your public key and Bitcoin address, then searches on the blockchain to trace all of your transaction. He can know the patterns, how much you spend, where, and how much you receive from whom. This is not privacy. They can also predict your next transaction. Nowadays, AI is evolving very quick. If you are a normal person, then it won't matter much. But if you are a richest person, or political leaders, celebrity, business person, then this will matter a lot. So what is the solution for this then? For that, multiple private keys can be generated, which will generate correspondingly many public keys and Bitcoin addresses. Now we can use different combination of private keys, public keys and Bitcoin addresses for different transactions, which make it difficult to trace your transactions. You can also generate as many private keys so that would be a good point, but here the major problem is, the more private keys you generate, the more it will be hectic to remember and store these private keys safely. So for this problem, Bitcoin introduced an improvement called BIP32. BIP stands for Bitcoin Improvement Proposal. In that proposal, they propose that we are about to talk SD wallets. So what is SD wallets? Well from SD wallet, what you get is master private key. This is the main thing that you get first, then only private key is generated from the master private key and of course public key is generated and so the address. So master private key and private key should be kept secure, you should not tell anyone. And this master private key can also generate multiple private keys like this and the corresponding public key and the addresses. So from single master key, you can maintain all these other keys and addresses. Whenever you need a new private key, you can generate from the master private key. You don't even need to remember the private keys. The wallet will help you in it. All you need is just the master private key. So how is this advantageous? First of all, the wallet do this automatically. When you perform different transactions, the wallet will choose different key pairs. Either you are sending or receiving, different addresses and keys are used. It will also generate new one, so nobody will be able to ever crack or trace a transaction's detail. Also, this is an interesting idea for organization. If they use cryptocurrency or Bitcoin as their currency for spending and receiving money, they can have main master private key for the head finance department, then each department has a separate private key, and here is a beauty. You can use the master key to look up all the transactions of its private keys, so this way it can maintain and track the transaction, and that's why it is called hierarchical. With master key, you can look up all the branches, all private keys, their public keys and addresses. Through one private key, you can look at its public key and address like this. Another thing that is suggested in BIP32 is master public key. Master public key cannot generate private keys, but it can generate any public keys. So when do we use master public key? Master public key is used when we do not need to send transactions like an auditor. He is just here to verify. So in the case like this, master public key is used, as we know public key is used for verification and we can generate all public keys from the master public key. So this is all about the SD wallet, I hope you learned something new and this is our last video of section 2, from next video we will start section 3, smart contracts, so stay tuned and on this note I will see you in the section 3rd.